Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. Receiving dozens of questions from our customers, asking about which render engine is best for Cinema 4D, with GPU rendering. We decided to make a series of comparisons, between a biased render engine, and an unbiased render engine for Cinema 4D. Their so-called Redshift and Octane, that have widely affected the CG industry. Before jumping into detailed analysis, we want to talk about the overview of these two render engines. Indeed, they are both useful and powerful. But each one of them has specific different features. Redshift is a biased, production quality GPU accelerator render engine. What a biased render engine means? Basically you can bias your light rays, and samples to specific parts of the scene, that may need more focus. Redshift offers more control over the scene, and how certain aspects react to certain lights in the scene. You can get faster light calculations and faster render time. On the other hand, Octane is an unbiased render engine, with real-time capability, developed by Otoy. What an unbiased render engine means? You can brute force all the light calculations. With unbiased render engines, you have less control over the scene, and light calculation. But you get real results without changing the settings, because it's done inside the engine itself. In this video, we are gonna do a speed comparison, and render on a 4RTX 3090 server, on the iRender cloud. You can check for more details about iRender on our channel. Introducing the workflow of our comparison. First, with the same lighting settings, we're gonna compare six types of materials, including diffuse, plastic, gold, glass, jade, and texture. Then, continue the comparison with a final scene, merged by these materials. The total number of frames for each scene is 90. For the first scene here, we have a statue, with diffuse material, and HDR light. As we can see, there is a slight difference between the two results. The octane shows more contrast, brighter light, darker shadow, even with the same lighting condition as Redshift. Redshift took 15 minutes 26 seconds to render. While the render time of Octane was two and a half times longer, with 41 minutes 22 seconds. Although this scene is quite simple, we can see how quickly an engine can perform a basic setting. Moving on to the next scene, we have the plastic material here. In this scene, the plastic showed a reflection, but not too different between Redshift and Octane. When it comes to the render time of this scene, again, Redshift was much faster with 19 minutes 13 seconds, while, approximately 40 minutes is the number of octane. The third material is gold. Gold is a metal, so it has a very strong reflection. Well, the results sound different. Octane 1 was shiner, stronger light bounce. However, Redshift showed its speed far surpassing octane, with 15 minutes 26 seconds and 49 minutes 6 seconds for octane. The fourth material is glass. In this scene, we made glass with transparency, and reflections on the floor. Light is distorted, when passing through a curved piece of glass. Looking at the results, the octane had more light reflex on the surface, and still had the shadow underneath, while the redshift's shadow was almost gone. But in terms of speed, redshift took 51 minutes 14 seconds, while octane took 2 hours 4 minutes 8 seconds to render. Next, the fifth material. Jade is interesting material. There was a slight reflection on the surface, and there was also a light bounce back inside the material. As you can see there were some pretty big differences in the visual look but they can be matched more closely by an expert. Again, Redshift greatly outweighs Octane about the render time. 36 minutes 33 seconds for Redshift, and 2 hours 13 minutes for Octane. And for the sixth comparison, we use image texture for the statue so it is supposed to have the same result. Interestingly, the difference is octane with more contrast, and more detailed texture. To render this scene, it took redshift 20 minutes 39 seconds, while 42 minutes 59 seconds for octane. Finally, there is a final scene, with the above six materials. In this scene, we have a clearer view, of how materials affect each other. We can see how the light goes through glass, and reflect on the other side of the statue, how the gold reflects other material, and so on. We rendered the final scene. The render time for Redshift was 3 hours 50 minutes, and the render time for Octane was 6 hours 4 minutes. 
In conclusion, in terms of speed redshift totally one. If you think that you can improve the time by better setting, you're right. An experienced octane artist could reach the same speed as redshift. But at the same time, an experienced redshift artist could also reduce their render time further. So remember, that these are the base speeds you should expect, before they all reduce further thought optimization. There are a lot more elements we need to check on to find out what render engine is the best for you. That's the end of the video today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I render, happy rendering.